On this vote, the yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative and the nomination is confirmed. President. Majority Leader. I move to reconsider the vote on the nomination. Question is on the motion to reconsider. I move to table the motion to reconsider. Question is on the motion to table. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes appear to have it. <laughs> the ayes do have it. And the motion to table is agreed to. I ask unanimous consent the mandatory quorum call be waived. Without objection. If you watched her confirmation hearing, you would know that. It was the most embarrassing confirmation hearing I have ever seen. She could not answer the most basic questions about education. So I ask my Republican colleagues, if Mrs. DeVos's performance in this hearing didn't convince you that she lacks the qualifications for this job, what would have had to have happened in that hearing in order to convince you? If the essence of this woman's career is to take money out of public schools and rural communities and put them in private schools that will never exist in many of these small communities, they are kicking in the shins the very voters that put them in power. And I don't get that. I don't get that, Senator. I don't understand how you can give the back of your hand to rural America with this decision. 22 governors in this country support Betsy DeVos. I ask consent to put their names here, along with those of former Governor Jeb Bush, former Governor Mitt Romney, former Governor John Engler, and 452 organizations and elected officials who support Betsy DeVos for Education Secretary. Without objection.